I'm going to go ahead and show you how I might analyze this process flow diagram description and create a diagram from it. And of course, you could do it differently, but I'm just showing you kind of how I approach it. So um, here we have a description of a process flow diagram. And um, kind of when I read, I try to sort of read over some of the details and just get the big ideas. So we know we have a waste material and that material contains something else uh, and is dissolved in water as the first step uh, to recovering this content. Now um, this, pr this process produces a slurry and it's to which is added this acid causing crystallization of this now, uh, let me just sketch up a little bit of a, what I have in my mind at this point. So I know that I have uh, some sort of, um, excuse me, i got to pick a, a pen size, I guess. Um, I have something that I'm adding, um, a waste material containing zirconium oxide, ZRC. Zirconium chloride, something like that, is dissolved in water, so we have to add water, and that is goes creates a slurry, and that slurry is um, put in a vat where you've added acid, and I'm just going to sketch this whole thing up. Um, it actually tells you the acid, and you get some sort of recrystallization. Now we don't know what happens to that, but um, what the problem says is that um, the oxychloride slurry, so that's probably this, there's zirconium oxychloride, this slurry is then filtered. So we know that in a filtering process we have a filtrate and then a cake. So um, we can, we also know that that process kind of looks like some sort of filtrate. I have to tell you that it's very awkward to write with a iPad, and then we have a cake. And what happens to the to that? The uh, the filtrate is the mother liquor is neutralized with alkali for disposal. So we've got that here. We've got alkali, and then this goes to waste. And then what happens to the slurry? Let's look back at the problem. The cake is redissolved with hydrochloric acid and crystallized as before in a second filtration process. Okay, so we know that that filtration process has two um, outputs. We've got the cake, we've got more acid, and then we have the uh, mother liquor. And then the cake, the second cake, cake two, um, let's see, mother liquor from the second filtration step is recycled back into the original crystallization tank. So that second filtration step, uh, the mother liquor is recycled back, let's see, how do we do this, da, 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 da. into the um, the original crystallization tank. I believe that's this one. That goes back into there. And then it tells you that the purified oxychloric crystals coming from the second filtration are dissolved in deionized water once more, but now some something else is added and um, you get this other precipitate. Let's see, so once more that cake is added to this other material, so I'm, I'm running out of room here, so I'm gonna have to move some things on my, let's see here, if I can do that. I don't know if I could move the other thing. Let's see if I can move this. Oh, goodness. Okay, where were we? We were, um, that 
filtering the resulting slurry yields an effluent system. Oh, I'm sorry, I have to go back here and say once more, purified crystals that's coming out of here from the second filtration step are dissolved in DI once more, but with ammonium chloride. So we've got this here. Now we've got NH4OH. And that uh, leads to some sort of precipitate, and, but that precipitate has to be filtered, filtering the resulting slurry, that precipitate slurry um, yields an effluent so solution containing dissolved ammonium chloride. So effluent solution, well, if you take that and uh, we filter that. We know that the filtering process adds some something. I guess we don't have to add something, but uh, let's see. Filtering the slurry yields an effluent solution containing dissolved ammonium chloride, which must be further treated prior to disposal. Okay, so um, what I have here is, um, let's see the effluent solution, so this is the filtrate. This has the NH4Cl, which must be treated again, and then that goes to waste. And this cake here, the filtered out cake, is then dried and calcined to produce water vapor and purify zirconia for sale. So. If you looked up the calcination process, you would uh, discover that it is essentially a process by which you essentially add heat and uh, air, mostly CO2, and it drives off uh, hot air and results in the purified ZrO2 that's for sale. Now, what was I wanting you to do for this? Uh, I was hoping that you would produce a um, diagram for me that was a process flow diagram. And as you can see, this, this diagram is rather hideous, uh, but it was just the first cut. And we can see from this first cut that we have the each major portion. We have uh, this first step here, which is some sort of mixing step. We have another mixing step, which is followed by a, a filtration step. That filtration has a second filtration where the filtration has a recycle stream coming back. And then we have the filtrate being treated and then there's waste. It's sent to waste, neutralized essentially. And from here, the cake is uh, treated for another slurry, which is then dried and calcined in one step for the product that we're interested in. And this produces the waste. And here is my version of the layout.